Hi, my name is Rachel Kui. I'm a pianist and piano teacher, and I'm going to talk with you today about the mathematical structure of musical keys. People are often under the assumption that music is completely artistic and has nothing to do with the sciences and maths, but this is far from the truth. The laws of physics actually indicate that we can have mathematical structure to the keys. I'm going to explain how that works to you. Musical keys are built on the structure of intervals. Intervals describe to us the distance between pitches. A pitch is a sounding of a particular note and it can be higher or lower relative to other pitches. When we consider musical keys, we always begin with C major because C major has no sharps or flats. Sharps and flats indicate to us specific distances between those pitches. When we see C major, it will appear to have no sharps or flats at the beginning of each line. From here, as we continue to progress through the keys, we're either going to move with fifths when we're considering sharps or with fourths when we're considering flats. We're going to consider sharps for our example. When we begin with C major, we begin here at C. To progress to the next key, which has one sharp, we will go up one fifth. That is, we'll go up to G. G major has one sharp, F sharp. I'm going to draw beneath the sharp that's included, F sharp. When we progress from G major to the key with two sharps, we will progress up a fifth again to D. The sharp that we add when we move to D major is a C sharp. Incidentally, C sharp is one fifth higher than F sharp. Let's do that again. We'll progress from D major, which has two sharps, to the, the key that has three sharps, which is A major. A major has three sharps, so it will keep the F and the C, which we added previously, and it will also add G sharp, which is one fifth higher than C sharp. So as we move through the keys, we're going to go up one fifth, one, an interval of a fifth each time, and we're going to add a sharp that's a fifth higher than the previous sharp. We can go up all the way through the pitches until we've arrived back at a starting pitch of C. This is what is known as the circle of fifths, and it gives us a continuous cycle of keys as we move through them. Here I've drawn the key signature of A major to show what this looks like as represented on a musical staff. So now that you have a basic understanding of the mathematical structure of keys, you may find even further motivation to continue your own musical studies. My name is Rachel Kui, I'm a pianist and piano teacher, and we've talked today about the mathematical structure of musical keys.